Welcome back, the good people, to Jurassic World Evolution. This is part two in the Jurassic World Evolution miniseries, featuring the exclusive footage that I was able to capture at the Jurassic World Evolution event. If you missed the previous episode, I'll link that down in the description below. It'll show you the basics of how everything works in the game and give you some good insight into the detail and depth of this park management game. This episode, we're going to focus on using the ranger station in which we can send out to heal sick dinosaurs and physically maintain the park. We're also going to be taking a look at what happens when a dinosaur escapes. We're going to go down further into the science branch of the game, and we'll also get to see a carnivore, a beautiful, giant, ferocious dinosaur terrorize the people of the park, which is always fantastic. In any case, if you guys really enjoy this and would like to see more, let me know in the comment section below. I will see what I can make happen. But let's begin. Oh my gosh, you got a sick dinosaur on your hands. It's time to treat it. Or what comes next, that's going to be on your hands as well. So where we left off, one of our Triceratops got sick. And you can see here on this grid that right there in the water is our lovely Triceratops that needs healing. So now we are going to manually control the Ranger unit. You can actually drive around and it's pretty intuitive. It works just as you'd imagine it to. And of course, uh, my first thought is to try to run over people. Unfortunately, it does not affect them. They do move, but you can't hurt them. Anyway, enough of that. We're going to go right into the habitat and heal our sick friend here. So we just drive up to it. The gate will automatically open and we can sneak in. Starting to rain too, given that creepy factor. Luckily, we have all friendly dinosaurs for the most part. And you can see the symbol over here. Actually, as the ranger, we can resupply the herbivore feeder. But we're not here for that. We're here for this. You and you can actually control the ranger that heals the dinosaurs. You can either do this manually, like I'm doing, or you can let them do it on their own. Treatment there we go. We had to get two shots into the Triceratops, and now Sarah's all better. There we go. And we completed our mission. And we get a nice little fanfare. I've done it. We are on the path to a pure strain dinosaur. This will definitely shift the paradigm. I can't ignore this accomplishment. Oh, with your help, obviously. That goes without saying. But under my direction. I think we make a good team. Let's do this again. I'll let you know when. Oh, sounds fantastic, lady. Ah, oh, we got a new research item, Cardio Strength 2. So it's gonna be level two of that. And in order to go further, of course, we're going to have to have more research stations around the park. Yeah, it says we need three total in order to unlock the next one. And what I did there, as you can see, I didn't drive the Rangers back. I let the game control it and drive it back. It's usually better to do that, but it, I love that it gives you the option to take control because it is your park. And now that is a sign of a dinosaur attack. Now, don't be alarmed. It's not as serious as it may sound, but we have to be quick, be swift, get the ranger, and we got to repair the fence. That's actually what happened. The Triceratops broke through the fence and is now running amok. And there goes another one. So we have both of our Triceratops out roaming, roaming around. It says it's a danger to guests, but I don't see it attacking. It just seems more interested in exploring. So the ranger is going to fix that fence. So that way we can tranquilize these dinosaurs because hurting them into the open fence is not going to happen. We got to tranquilize them and then helicopter them from where they are back into the habitat. For now, we got to build the ACU center, which is going to allow us to have helicopters deployed in order to tranquilize the dinosaurs and, of course, move them or transport them. And here we got some information for power. It says each power station outputs an amount of power to the network. Each building requires an input of power. This increases whenever upgrades are added. Additional power stations increase overall power output and existing ones can be upgraded to improve output as well. All right, so we'll connect the path here to make sure it can be operated properly. And we'll wait for that thing to be built. And again, it does say that they are a danger to guests, but they actually never attack any people. You don't have to worry about the Triceratops. Maybe you do. They might trample somebody accidentally. But what a wonderful landscape. I actually tend to look about. I'm not sure how far the park can go, but it's it's beautiful nonetheless. And here we go. Something is brewing. A beautiful fight is about to ensue. The Triceratops don't seem to like each other outside of the habitat. They got along just fine inside, but now they just want to fight. 
You can actually zoom into this and uh, enjoy the beautiful perspective. All right, they've they've made up. <laughs> I love that. It's like, all right, now I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> you keep walking. That's about as much as they can do. And I'm sure if there were bystanders, it would be a terrible time for them. A contract just landed on my desk. You need to take a look. So this is actually a mission for the security branch. As I said in the last episode, you can follow a specific branch if you want and kind of hone your park towards that field, but you can also bleed into the others. And it's actually recommended by the devs that you explore all three branches, even though you want to be prominent in one. This one says increase the park's dinosaur population, incubate, hatch, and introduce at least three new dinosaurs. And this mission, as you can see by the little teaser picture up here, is one we are going to take part in towards the end when we decide to bring in a carnivore. So doing this mission, though, does have a negative effect in the other two branches, as you can see. I'm assuming that the amount of arrows there are in each one represents the damage done to the other branches. Security is the only one that's going to go up, but entertainment and science is going to go way down. I'm not sure exactly why, considering that incubating and introducing new dinosaurs to the park is definitely falling into the science field and likely the entertainment field as well. But we do get 100 grand, so compared to the 2.6 mil I have sitting in the bank, <laughs> it's not even worth it. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control, while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. All right, so we got an introduction into the security branch, and if you just missed it, look at these tools that are available to you in, in the form of landscaping and the terrain. You can flatten out the land, you can deforest an area in order to plant down what you need. You have pretty much every tool that you could possibly think of to make your park work. And the reason why we were doing that is because we're building another power station, and not just the small ones, but the big one, because the, as you can see, the excavation helicopter station uh, is unable to operate because it doesn't have enough power. There's not enough power to distribute. So now for this one, we do have to put down a small power station in which we can then connect all of the wires to, or the cables. There we go. And for those who aren't noticing, that other little guy just escaped too. There he is, the Struthamapaba. He's out. Now he, Apparently, according to the dev that was helping me, he likes to cause ruckus on property. Not necessarily attack guests, but will damage things. And we need to make sure that we prioritize getting him back into the habitat. Look at this guy running amok all over our park. He actually is about to pick a fight with the Triceratops. I actually don't remember this. <laughs> what? what a tough guy. All right, so all the power is built, and again, you got to see all of the amazing tools that you have to sculpt the land. Of course, we only did that because we absolutely needed to, but we could make this place look amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and pilot this helicopter, because you can do this as well. Again, priority is uh, the small guy, and you do have the option, as you'll see, to press R and actually operate the guy with the, <laughs> with the dart gun. Uh, this is... Quite difficult on this specific dinosaur, I was told, that I wasn't able to get the shot off, but watch how amazing I am at shooting. This is just, this is just, this is just footage, uh, of pure gold in terms of, uh, first person shooting. I mean, I, I was totally acting like they were bullets. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think about the property of the dart. I'm actually very curious now, if I had shot a person, what would happen? Okay, so instead we decide to let the game automate the tranquilization of this dinosaur. So as you can see, it will go and take care of it for us. Typically with fast moving dinosaurs, that would be the best thing to do. You can set up to two tasks in the queue. So I'll set for the other Triceratops to get tranquilized as well. You can also see kind of the people scattering because they're afraid of this thing. It's a natural reaction. They've all grouped up underneath trees because they think that they think that'll help. So that one is out. 
That one's out for the count. And we are about to tranquilize Sarah number two. I think number two. And then we're going to add the final task for the other Triceratops into the queue. And there it goes. Fall over straight. <laughs> Here we go. Now we're going to control this one because the Triceratops doesn't like to move all that much. Contact Bam. Made. And it's gone. What's really interesting about this, and you don't really get to see it a lot in my footage, but the entire dinosaur, every model of the dinosaur in this game, even the larger ones, are all an entire rigid body. So when you tranquilize them, you might need multiple darts, depending on if they're large enough. And the first few darts, or the first one, might cause a limb or two to go limp. And then eventually the head will go, and then finally the body will fall. Again, all reacting dynamically to its environment. It's an awesome thing. All right, so now we're going to add the task of transporting the dinosaurs back into the habitat. So they basically put down a flare, the helicopter comes back out, transports them one by one back into the habitat. It is fixed. The rangers did take care of that, so we should be good. I actually have no idea what caused the initial break. I'm hoping that eventually they have a feature where it will tell you why it happened, and then you can kind of gauge what you need to do. Like, if it was because the dinosaurs were angry, maybe we should try to make them happy. All right, so here they are, picking up this dinosaur. Everyone's walking by. Okay, they're running away from it. I was going to say, they're getting awfully close to that thing. It could wake up at any moment. So these guys apparently have an infinite amount. I, I, didn't, I didn't remember that happening, but they have a helicopter per dinosaur, now transporting them all back into the habitat. All right, so in order to get more dinosaurs, we're going to go explore to get them. The Ceratoropopopa, the Ceratosaurus. Uh, that is our carnivore that we are going to want to unlock and release. Again, we have to have at least a 50% genome in order to grow one and incubate it. So while that expedition is underway, let's take a look and see how our dinosaurs are doing. All of them are still knocked the hell out. Ah, yes, all of our staff is safe. And it looks like the dinosaurs are awake. Fantastic. How long? That's a, not a very long window of time to make this happen. Oh, and by the way, you actually cannot pilot the specific helicopters that lift the dinosaurs up. Unfortunately, you can't. But there's our Ceratosaurus. He is a deadly predator, only at 28% right now. So now we're just waiting until new fossils come in. Less than a minute remains. And it does say here that we can actually have more than one expedition team Eventually, I'm assuming if we have more than one expedition center, we could then have them all going at the same time uncovering fossils. There we go. So there's the helicopter coming back and again, affecting all the trees and grass around it. What a beautiful, beautiful effect. All right, so we're viewing the fossils and we got super, super lucky. We're going to extract the DNA 26% off that amber. That's just enough to push us over the 50 mark so we can bring this guy in. Now, at this point in the video, we were running out of time, and I really wanted to bring the meat eater in to see how it will react if it escaped the park. But I didn't want to rely strictly on chance that it will break out and cause havoc. So what I did was open the gate, and now I'm going to custom build inside the habitat that we already have a fence that is going to lead straight from the opening where the dinosaur will exit and go right out the open gate as you can see the small guy's leaving too so that's perfect go cause some trouble little guy there we go new viable genome the ceratosaurus and we're going to incubate this guy oh boy yeah what a beaut so yeah now our gates set up and you can do this i mean i could have just gone the route of destroying the gate itself but obviously if he's hungry he's going to venture forward and try to find some food and since he's a meat eater, he'll eat anything that constitutes meat. <laughs> Look at this little guy. He's not like him. Boy, does he actually attack? Look at this beautiful dinosaur. He doesn't have an interest at all in the humans. Then again, they could just be very good at escaping. And here are the upgrade slots, which have a whole bunch of different things like growth speed, success rate boosts. And these apply to pretty much all the different buildings that you have. They all have their own specific upgrades that you can give that will help in obviously getting quicker results and more efficient results for your park oh and what timing that everyone is now going on either their break or another lunch and our little guy in the background is now <laughs> scaring the hell out of everyone security isn't always clean or easy but it is always necessary so look this contract over so just for fun we're going to have the acu tranquilize this little guy 
I just love the way he chases. He's intentionally playing with them. I don't think he's going to eat them. He's just playing with them, chasing them around, chasing them away like humans do with geese or any other flock of birds that happen to be on land. All right, so that guy is down and out, and I think we're just going to leave him there. And we just got a notification that guests have died in our park, which uh, when I was playing, I, I immediately thought that a guest got trampled by the dinosaur. Now I'm watching it and he's been tranquilized for a while. So who died and how did they die? And apparently it was a guest, which I honestly didn't even know I had guests. I thought this was just all staff members. We didn't really go down the route of bringing in guests or attracting them. I don't even think you can get them unless you have like concession stands and bathrooms and whatnot. So one of our workers died mysteriously. Maybe a fright, who knows? Our meat eater is ready to go. <laughs> Ooh. He's a bit scary. It's a tiny T-Rex. I mean, I don't know much about dinosaurs, but that's uh Yes, please. Give me give me give me some more of that. All right, buddy. Go get yourself some food. I know you hungry. Don't you can't attack the triceratops. But look at these people. They're so dumb. Also, I love how he stops right at the gates and just kind of sneaks out and looks. And here is an amazing thing. Please enjoy this. That dude got eight. That dude got eight really hard. I just love the animation of it. Like, it's not just where the dinosaur gets out and his collision box happens to run into the, the hurt box of the NPC and then all of a sudden it disappears and it counts as a death. No, this thing has an entire animation behind it. I'm curious as to what would happen if it was in a crowd, but I imagine it would just single out uh, one person that would trip and fall. It's always the one that trips and falls. This guy didn't even try to leave though. He was just like, oh, I have no idea what's going on. Why is everyone in a panic? Also, for those who are curious, uh, I didn't zoom into the dinosaur as the dev advised me to not do that because when you do, it brings you to about eye level and sometimes you it really obstructs the view if there's anything in the way and it's not really a good angle to kind of see the entire animation. So I kept a bit back in order to see the full thing. And unfortunately, that is where my time was up for gathering footage. We just managed to at least get that out to have something super interesting happen. So, so if you guys do want to see more, I can try to make that happen. If we want to go into detail about different aspects of the game or possibly see some other scenarios where dinosaurs escape and how other people may have handled them, we can certainly look into doing that. For now, I hope you guys really enjoyed what you have seen so far for Jurassic World Evolution. It's honestly up there as one of the better management games that I've played, at least as far as it goes with interactivity and not being mundane. There's a lot of management games out there. It's satisfying when you grow, when you're able to, to build better things or get better things, but it's just not fun. This is fun. And while our immediate goal is to profit, you know, you really need to make sure that everything is kept safe. That's an underlying like sub theme throughout the entire franchise of Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. But I hope you guys are hyped. If you are, let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. In any case, thank you so much again for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.